Today I'll show you an action horror film, The Divine Fury. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Yang whose mum had died in childbirth, and he has only his dad, who is a traffic police. As a Catholic custom, they attend mass weekly at the church. This day, before dad leaves for his night shift, Yang who bids farewell with him. Little do they know that this is a lasting separation. At work, dad stops a car that turns out to bear a glowing eyed, presumably demon possessed couple. The guy wears a black ring on his thumb, which beams red light. What's creepier, there are faint scales on his face. Suddenly the driver steps on the accelerator to start the car, dragging dad on the door. At this time, the woman sitting on the passenger seat also reveals a devil's face. Finally, exhausted dad falls on the road and gets run over by the car. Yong Hu and his grandma rush to the hospital once they hear the bad news. Seeing his dad lying in a coma, Yong Hu feels hopeless. Yong Hu alone prays for dad's recovery at the Catholic Church. A handsome priest tells him that the Lord will grant his wish. However, at the night, dad passes away. In Yong Hu's dream, dad tells him to be a good man who helps others. Dad promises to be with him always and passes a ring to Yong Hu. The handsome priest attends dad's funeral. But furious Yong who brains him with a throne cross, blaming him and the Lord for not saving dad, and calling him as a liar and a murderer. 20 years later, Yong who has become a pro mixed martial arts world champion. During one of his competitions, he is reminded of dad's death upon spying his opponent's Christ tattoo. He hears a voice telling him to take revenge, and he channels that rage to beat the guy down. If the referee has not stopped him, he would have killed him on the spot. On the plane home, he dreams of dad again. He is led to dad's picture with a cross beside it. Due to dad's death, Yong Hu has harbored resentment towards the Lord. When he hears the voice instructing him to avenge, Yong Hu takes up the cross to smash it. Unexpectedly, the cross is glued to his palm and sets itself on fire. At the same time, some black smoke comes out from Yong Hu's body, causing him tremendous pain. Yong Hu awakens to find his hand bleeding in reality. Back home, he sees a doctor regarding the wound and is told that it is normal. At night, a dark shadow looms around Yong Hu's bed, trying to enter his body. Whenever this happens, his stigmata-like hand wound would burst into blood. As soon as his blood starts flowing, the dark figure would retreat. This attack repeats for days, leaving the wound unable to heal. Yong Hu's health deteriorates, but the doctor cannot do anything about it. Confused, Yong Hu decides to visit a child medium. She takes one look at him and says he is covered with demons as he spurns God. The voice he often hears comes from the devil. It is dad's ring that keeps him safe and alive. His wound is able to drive out the evil spirit. The little medium receives a sign of the cross through divination. Yong Hu should find the cross at the south of his house at midnight. Over there, he will meet his savior. Yu Hu finds the cross, which leads him to a church. Suddenly, a flock of crows attack him, so he immediately returns to his car. At this time, two priests are conducting an exorcism in the church. The senior priest Father On and the younger priest Father Choi work closely together to iron out every step of the ceremony, putting the evil spirit in torment. However, when the possessed man finally breaks free, the priests are defeated right away. Father Choi, who has never seen such a horrid sight, flees the scene in terror, putting Father On's life at risk. Strangely, as Father Choi leaves the church, the flock of crows follow him. When Father On is almost strangled to death, Yong Hu arrives to rescue him. As a world champion, he easily puts down the possessed man. What is more, Yong Hu's bleeding palm sets fire on the possessed, making him scream in pains. Father On makes the flames even stronger by pouring the holy water. Moments later, the evil spirit is killed, and the victim emerges unscathed. Afterward, Father On reveals that Yong Hu's wound is a holy scar, one that left on Jesus during his crucifixion. It occasionally appears on some devoted believers. Yong Hu only cares about how to heal it. Meanwhile, the demon lures Yong Hu to kill Father On. In response, Father On reads aloud the scriptures to calm him down. After knowing Yong Hu's background, Father On prays at his bedroom and places his own cross beside Yong Hu's bed. He tells Yong Hu to seek him whenever he needs help. Returning to his own lodging, Father On meets Father Choi, who feels guilty. Father On consoles him that everything is God's plan. That night, Yan Hu sleeps tight under God's blessings. The next day, he wakes up to find the cross. Enraged, he dumps it into the toilet bowl. Before he flushes it away, he picks it up and washes it. Later, he visits Father On's lodging to secretly puts back the cross. Father On is a Vatican envoy on a mission to find the Dark Bishop. He reports to the Pope that the Dark Bishop is currently in Korea. 
Ji Sin, the pub owner, is threatened by the thug leader that if he does not hire them as security guards, the pub will run into endless troubles. Ji Sin scratches his palm with a black ring and paints a snake with the bloodshed. And then his eyes start to glow red and the scales emerge on his face. Instructed by the devil, Ji Sin tells leader that his partner runs up a lot of gambling debts and he is going to run off with the money. Leader captures his partner and beats him to death. Ji Sin is the very sadistic driver who killed Yong Hu's dad. His appearance does not change a single bit in 20 years time. At the basement of the pub, he prays to Satan. After that, he kills leader with a spell from a heart and offers leader's soul as a sacrifice to Satan. By offering innocent souls to the demon, Ji Sin is able to stay young. He is the dark bishop whom Father On is searching for. Without the cross, Yong Hu is again attacked by the evil spirit. Helpless, he seeks Father On for help. Father On gifts him with a priceless holy object that is blessed by the Pope. Out of appreciation, Yong Hu gives Father On a ride to his next exorcism ceremony. As Father Choi has not recovered from the trauma, Father On has to conduct the ceremony alone. Looking at Father On, Yong Hu is reminded that Dad told him to help others. So he accompanies Father On to the house of the possessed. Father On examines the victim's spirit to find no demonic symptom. But he knows that some demons disguise themselves within the victim's body. So he orders Yang Hu to suppress the lady's movements. And then Father On pours the whole bottle of holy water into the lady's mouth. Soon after, the demon is provoked to knock down Father On. Yang Hu rushes over to mount on the lady, only to be pushed all the way up to the ceiling. In the meantime, the evil spirit tells him that he possessed the guy who killed Dad 20 years ago. Yang Hu bursts into anger and strangles the lady with all his might and strength, almost killing her. Regaining his senses, Yan Hu applies the holy scar to burn the demon into ashes. At the same time, Ji Sin sheds tears of blood. Father On relates this incident to the dark bishop. Yang Hu is curious why he has the holy scar despite his disbelief. Father On points out that Yang Hu in fact loves the Lord. The more he used to love, the more he hates now. And then they ask the unfortunate girl whom she meets recently. Before she answers, tears of blood run down her face. It is all because Ji Sin has started his ritual to offer the lady's soul to Satan. Fortunately, Father On is more powerful to save the lady's life and destroy the doll, through which Ji Sin manipulates the poor girl. Rescued, the lady breaks down in fear. Father On and Yang who decide to visit her another time. The two demon fighters treat themselves with a feast, when Father openly drinks beers. Friendship is gradually forged between the two men. Ji Sin is aware that Father On goes after him, and receives a revelation. Following Satan's instruction, he finds a boy who gets bullied by his peers at an orphanage, and brainwashes him to give his body up for the evil spirit. And then Ji Sin purposely runs into Yang Hu on his way home, masquerading himself to be Father Choi. Yang Hu has never seen Father's Choi's face, but Ji Sin's body built matches with what he remembers. Ji Sin lies that he has the same kind of mark on his palm. But the more he uses the scar, the weaker he becomes. He accuses Father On to be a real demon who abuses his power. He warns Yang Hu to not help Father On, should he ask him for any assistance. Back to the orphanage, the nuns are chanting for the demon-possessed boy. When Father On learns of the boy's situation, he calls Yang Hu. But Yang Hu is affected by Ji Sin's lie, and he does not answer it. So, Father On sets off alone. He clamps down the boy, forces out the demon's name with his ring, and drives out the evil spirit from the boy. Shortly after, the boy lets out a piercing scream. It turns out that the boy is inhabited by 666 evil spirits. Even though the boy is considerably more manageable than adult victims, 666 evil spirits are way too overwhelming. Father On is soon beaten up by the boy, and blood runs all over his face. A nun rescues him with a cross, only to get herself in danger next. In Pinch, Yong Hu arrives and saves both the nun and Father On. The holy scar on Yang Hu's palm comes with immense spiritual power. Coupled with his blood, the demons are burnt up. Yang Hu fuels up the fire with holy water, and the flames suddenly shoot up to the heavens. The evil spirits are all cleared. In response, Ji Xin sends a barbaric dog to kill the boy, and sacrifice his innocent soul to Satan. As a result, he receives a poisonous fang from Satan. Father On and Yang Hu hear about the boy's death. When Father On prays for the boy's soul to rest in peace, the lights start to flicker. The next moment, Yang Hu sees Ji Sin appears and disappears. He leaves Father On behind to give a chase, only to fall into Ji Sin's trap. By the time he returns, Father On is held hostage by Ji Sin. 
he points the poisonous fang at Father An's throat, threatening Yang Hu to give up the holy scar gifted by the Lord. Yang Hu does so. At this time, Father An silently prays for Yang Hu before he pushes the poisonous fang into his flesh. Ji Xin then flees in the dark. Yang Hu brings Father An back to the church and entrusts him to Father Choi's care. To save Father An, Yang Hu decides to impale Ji Xin. Before his departure, Father An passes his own exorcism ring to Yang Hu. Father Choi also gives him a Pope blessed robe, which protects him against evil. It was a gift from Father An, and now he gives it to Yang Hu. Putting on the full armor of Father An, Yang Hu sets off riding on his motorbike. He gets the address of Dark Bishop from the lady they saved. In the meantime, Ji Sin makes all of his followers possessed by demons. When Yang Hu arrives, he has to first clear the followers. Coupled with the holy weapons, Yang Hu puts down the evil spirits one by one. In fear, Ji Sin begs Satan for salvation. Satan orders him to pierce his heart with the toxic fang. Out of desperation, Ji Sin stabs his heart with the fang, and then jumps into the pool of sacrifice. Yang Hu steps into the basement just in time to witness Ji Sin falling into the pool. Shortly after, Ji Sin transforms into a powerful snake-like beast. The battle starts immediately. Unfortunately, Yang Hu's holy scar is no more effective on the mutated Ji Sin, and he is soon overpowered by the monster. Ji Sin toys Yang Hu, and surprise attacks him with a toxic fang. The poison enters Yang Hu's body, and he is cast into darkness. In the dark, a streak of light is shown and Dad walks from it. Yang Hu sheds tears of joy when he sees Dad. Dad keeps his promise of being with him always and protecting him. And then Dad reinforces the power of his holy scar by his kindness. By the time Yang Hu awakens, his hand is burning with fury to eradicate the demons. He is surprised to discover that the flame clears the toxin within his body. Afterward, Yang Hu and Ji Sin wrestle again. With Yang Hu's fury on full swing to attack Ji Sin, the battle becomes a tight, nip and tuck game. To break through, Yang Hu takes out Father An's ring and holds it in his palm. He pierces the holy scar with the ring, so that the blood flows out to increase the power of the divine fury. In the final confrontation, he severely wounds the dark bishop with a single blow. And then he pulls out his fang from his heart, and burns it to ashes with a devouring fire. When that is done, Dark Bishop Ji Sin also dies completely. When Yang Hu leaves the altar, Satan stretches out countless number of hands to drag Ji Sin's corpse to hell. Having destroyed both the Dark Bishop and the Toxic Fang, Father On fully recovers. After this tribulation, they hug each other. Father On returns to Rome safely. He sends his cross to Father Choi, encouraging him to be a great exorcist. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.